I'm about to share with you a color palette that I made from Sherwin Williams. Six colors arranged in a palette pyramid formation that I think will really help you understand how to use all these colors in your home on your next project. This of course is palette pyramids. I'm James from The Paint People. And palette pyramids are our way of putting colors together. Essentially we have three tiers, starting with the main color up top, which is kind of your pinnacle, your default color. Your support colors are right below that, which help heighten and support your main color. They're kind of your secondary colors. Maybe an option for your trim or other walls that are just more in that neutral sort of zone. And then of course we have the finishing colors along the bottom which are the more accentuating colors that'll really finish the job wherever you need a bit of color or some depth. So Moon Mist is a color we recently did a review on, which I can leave in the description down below and in the cards up top. Essentially, it is a very beautiful powdery blue color. It's pretty airy and easy breezy, a bit of a pastel color, but it is pretty saturated with blue. So it's not necessarily going to read as a cool gray, which is more on the muted side. This one has enough saturation where I would solidify it as a blue. It also has a 68 LRV, so it is a lighter color, but not necessarily something that will read as an off-white. It has some noticeable coloration to it. Why don't we start with placing Moon Mist on the palette pyramid? Is it a main color? Is it a secondary color? I actually have it as a finishing color right on the bottom of the pyramid. And the reason for that is not because it's dark and rich and moody, none of those things actually. It is lighter, but it has such a strong coloration, ends up feeling like a nearly neutral or a subtle accent color. Probably not gonna be your go-to choice for something like an accent wall or anything like that, but could be a good accent ceiling color, could be a great accent room color. If you want to paint this on all four walls, it'll help differentiate itself from other more neutral paint colors that you might already be using. Kind of like the ones we'll talk about later on in this video. Moving on to our second color in the finishing row on this palette pyramid, it is Shay's Mauve. Yes, we have Mauve. Mauve is a bit polarizing. I know some people are not kind of not into Mauve, but I am. I still enjoy Mauve. This color was recently selected in the Pottery Barn collection for 2024. So I guess that gives it some cachet, some street cred. But really what's great about this color is it's a mid-tone, so it has some depth. It also combines purple with taupe, I would say, like a bit of a brown and gray combination. I think it is awesome for that reason. So it's kind of acting like a taupe. Your traditional dark grazy neutral but that purple undertone that bit of red really takes it into a different direction which I think is really nice it also is not too dark so the versatility in terms of the lightness aspect of it is decently high it's not going to feel insanely dark in certain areas, which I know a lot of my clients have concerns about. They don't want a room to feel too dark and a mid-tone color around the 47 LRV, that's a decent amount of light reflection. So I think you'll be in good shape using this color. The third finishing color is going to be more towards the gray side of things, but it's kind of a teal gray, which I think is really cool. It's called Software. So this is a 23 LRV paint color and it combines like a slight gray, not quite charcoal to me, but it also has this bluey green aspect that just pulls it into this really nice sort of area. I enjoy it. And I think it looks good, not only with cooler colors that are like-minded, but also warmer colors that can help accentuate it even more. So this is a choice that I think is really solid as an accent wall color, because it brings in a lot of depth compared to the other colors on this list. And that'll give you some nice contrast. Sometimes people make the mistake of picking an accent color that's free similar in terms of darkness and you almost don't notice any difference because the way that light bounces off of corners and things like that, it's just gonna be a waste of time almost. I always try and have maybe like a 20 or a 30 LRV difference, at least for things like accent walls, just to make sure you can really determine the difference between the two in practical use. So we started with the finishing colors. <laughs> now let's build up to the supporting colors in the middle. And for these two, I think the most important supporting colors are gonna be a trim color or an off-white and then a Another neutral that is a little bit different from the main color. So the trim color I want to go with is Snow Belt, which is an 87 LRV white. It's very crisp, clean, tiny bit cool leaning as well. Because it is so bright, 
and it reflects so much light. It's gonna feel stark, which I think is perfect for this palette pyramid. And then for my second supporting color, this is going to be a wall color that can be used alongside the main color, which we'll get to in one second. And what's nice about this one is it brings in a little bit of warmth and just a touch of richness to it. Kind of a creamy, yellowy, warm, buttery undertone that I enjoy. It's called Aged White. Now this is a color that has a 74 LRV, so pretty light, I would say. This is a light color, not necessarily a white paint color, pretty off-white, I would say. This is a perfect choice for those rooms where you wanna bring in some of that cozy, beautiful warmth that I think a lot of people are looking for, especially in a more traditional space or something maybe rustic, modern farmhouse-y even. I think it's great for all that. Now, before we get into our main color in this palette to finish it all off and tie it all together, I wanted to let you know that we do custom color palette pyramids for our clients. Essentially, we have three different sizes available, small, medium, and large, depending on your project. So if you're just needing some colors for a room, we can help you with that. Maybe a whole floor or a whole home. You got options with us. So if you're looking for an alternative to a traditional online consultation and you're looking for one of these nice custom palette pyramids made by me, check out the description down below and I'll send you some more information on it. Okay, so what is the main color? If you're new to the channel, if you're not subscribed yet, no pressure, but you know, you can click that button if you want to stay up to date. Essentially, your main color is your go-to color. It's the default choice. This is the first color that I think of going everywhere inside the home. Assume that, hey, we're taking a sprayer and we're just covering the whole house. And then once we start to visualize that, we can kind of change things up and say, actually, no, I like aged white over here and there. You know what? Software would be really great against this wall, you know? So you can kind of build off of the main color, which is sort of your neutral canvas. And the color for this palette pyramid is Glacier bay and what's cool about this one is it's cool it's actually a cooler leaning neutral it has a very similar lrv to aged white at 75 so just a hair lighter and brighter but instead of that warm creamy buttery sort of undertone this one actually has a little more of a warm gray green coloration and i think that works awesomely with moon mist it's more of an adjacent color pairing because you have blue and green sort of mixed together no brainer fit with software and then a little complementary fit with shay's mauve in those finishing colors so you have some options whether you want to go a little more coordinated and similar or kind of go in the opposite directions and have something a little more polarizing and fun and dynamic and maybe rewarding who knows here's the palette pyramid all together please let me know what you think of it and again if you want your own palette pyramids custom made by us you can check it out down in the description down below should be an email for you to find there we also have a video right over here